everyone. Welcome back to another video about the amazing emotion code, body code, belief code. Today, I'm going to do a session on surrender. I'm actually doing three of these. I chose three people. I sent an email out to my email list who wants to work on surrender. I chose three people out of those that responded um, because I wanted to get a variety. So I did one yesterday. I'm working with Samantha today and I have another person I'm working with uh, tomorrow. And we can see how it's different for everybody. You just never know what comes up. And the person I did yesterday, someone I work with a lot, um, her stuff was weird. Like she had all kinds of everything coming up. Like nothing really told the story about like surrender. Well, some of it did, but it's just amazing to see like how it's different for everyone. So that's what I wanted to do today. So let me just say hello to um, Samantha. And um, you ready for this? I am. Um, what is it like for you around surrender? I'll let you talk a bit and I'll get my uh, screen up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you know, like how does it, how does it hit you or why did you respond to that email to work on it? I just feel like my life has been, there's been a lot of it, like things that I need to work on to get improved. And I feel like I need some more peace in my life. So that's why I responded. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I mean, I, I've worked on surrender and and I can really hold that space for a while pretty well. Um, but then sometimes things will come up that you're kind of like, and, and especially when it's something that kind of repeats every now and then, you're like, what's going on? Like, I thought I got through all of this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But then here it shows up again. Like, there's just another aspect of it. You know, it comes up for a reason, right? Because there's more to it that you need to release, right? So at least for me, that's, my indicator. I'm like, all right, I still have something on this. Okay, let's just go and do it, right? Um, but I'm sharing my screen. Can you see that? I can. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, so I wrote down for the focus energies that prevent you to be in surrender and return back to surrender with ease because we can find ourselves in that space. And have you ever noticed how things kind of flow when you're actually like, all right, whatever, just let I give up. <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> it's yeah. not like and someone pointed out, like, is that, that like people think surrender is a weakness? Like you're you're giving up in a bad way, like you're in a battle, right? And you're gonna lose because you surrender. No, this is surrendering to a higher power, a higher energy, whatever you want to call that, to be able to work along with it, allow it to flow through you. Because when we're, I mean, you know, when you're feeling good, everything goes right. Like it's it's easy, right? Mm -hmm. When you're not, it's like, oh, my God, things feel heavy. You feel small. Um, so it's good to be able to pop into that surrender space. Um, so, yeah. All right. You, you ready to get going on it? I am. Okay. So let's just call in this energy here to just be with us. You know, your guides, angels, of course, God, higher power, whatever you want to call that beautiful energy. I call it in working with us today. And I want to make sure that I can. Um, okay. Um, Sam, Samantha, how do you, what do you like to be? Sam, Sam. Sam. So I'm testing for Sam. Um, all right, good. We can do that. Now, where are we going to go? Now, we might be taken to belief code. We don't know where we're going to go. You never know. So let's just see what happens. It's always amazing. All right, left energy. Yes. Okay, something right now. Left, offensive. No, it's in the mental area. To the right, no, left. We'll tune. Okay, so we start with the broadcast message. All right, what, what is it going to be? So, you know, for anyone who hasn't seen this before, broadcast message is just energy that you keep sending out. It's like the radio signals going out, and whatever we send out there, we get back. So, nothing on here is like a good thing. We want to get rid of these things. Um, are we looking to something in A, in B, in C? Is it an odd one? Yes. Is it one? Okay, C1. Is it abandon me, leave me? No. Uh, abuse me, attack me, betray me, control me. Okay. So obviously that's giving your power away, right? Like you don't have the control. Something outside of you has to do it. So that's a weaker position to be in and uh, totally takes you out of your power. But is there something we need to know, understand, decode around where and how this came about? So no. Uh, associations, no. Okay, so we can just wipe it out. All right, so we're just going to let go of this control me message. 
And again, if you've never seen, it only takes three swipes, but I, I like to swipe. Okay, so that's <laughs> really easy. Um, again, for anyone who hasn't seen this before, I'm always going to be checking for if there's something your subconscious mind wants you to consciously know about, right? So we might have to test like what age you were, what happened uh, to see what, how this energy got trapped or this message or this belief stuck with you. But especially people who have done this before, you don't always have to decode anything. And sometimes there's something associated, like there's another energy connected to it. So we didn't have anything we needed to know. We didn't have any associations, which is good. We wipe it out. But if I were to wipe it out and not have uncovered an association, some other energy attached to it, then it can just come back again. It won't, it may not hold. So we always want to get all the energy up that we can. So that being said, that's how it rolls and let's keep let's keep going i want to try and go fast i want to get a lot done um right now left energy again right side left side post-traumatic offensive no it's in the mental area uh on the right no it's on okay now we have a will to something you have the will to do um is this one A? No, it's B. Is it odd? No, it's even. So is it two, four, six? B6. Is it the will to be sick? No. To seek love and recognition from outside or from others? No. To decline? No. To interrupt? Yeah. So like as far as you know, like manifesting or wanting things to go well and all that, it maybe our things are going well, but then if we have this will to like interrupt, we can be like, mm, put the brakes on that. Right. Let's bring in this other stuff we don't really like, or it could be other things too. But that's kind of what it feels like. So, is there some? It does make sense to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there something that we need to know and decode, like how this came about? Anything we need to know? No. And is there something else associated? No. All right. Good. So we can just wipe wipe out this will to interrupt. Let's get rid of that. Right. This way you can stay on focus, on course, whatever it might be, however it's affecting you. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's released. What else might we get? Uh, right. No. Left. Energy. All right. I mean, it's probably going to be mostly energy, but you never know. To the right. No. To the left. Oh, post-traumatic. OK. What's in here? Uh, is it recovery? No. A physical trauma. All right. So. We may need to know, but sometimes we don't even need to know these. And if something comes to mind, I can always test it because usually your intuition, you know, sometimes you just, you're just giving the message yourself. But do we need to know specifics, any details about this particular physical trauma? And we do. So did anything come to mind to you? Uh, the, my C-section came to mind. Okay. So is the physical trauma that we're looking at right here, right now, does it have to do with the C-section? Okay, it does. All right, you're totally on that. H how recent was that? Uh, five years ago. Okay. But you just remember the trauma with all that and it kind of stuck with it's Consciously, yeah. you know it stuck with you? Yeah, okay. I was an emergency C-section, so. Oh, okay, okay. So there could be energies attached to that too, but let's just see. Is there anything else we need to know, decode around what went on with the C-section? Anything else? No. Is there something else associated? There is an association. So, you know, we can't release it till we find out what's associated to it. So go back to the beginning. Right, left, energy. Right side, allergy, a reverberation. Okay, so like that bell ringing, right? It's an energy that kind of is humming out there. It's kind of ringing out. So is it to the right? No, to the left, a seeking heart, a sickness memory. I'm getting goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just ask that. Do we need to know anything? No. Let's ask the obvious. The sickness memory, is it? Is it also sickness memory of what went on with the C-section? Yeah. Okay, so those two are holding each other in place there, right? Um, any details we need to understand? No. Okay, I already said no. Um, is there something else associated? No. Okay, good. So let's release these energies. First, we'll get, release that sickness memory, right? So we're not holding that. It doesn't have to be hovering around in your energy field. Good, thank you. That's released. Yes, and now uh, the physical trauma of the C-section. Let's let's clear that energy. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I get the chills sometimes and shakes. Okay, so that's released. It's released. It's released. All right, where to? Let's find something else. Uh, there are more. Yes. 
Okay, right, left, energy. We might just be in energy the whole time. Who knows? Mm -hmm. On the right, no, on the left, post-traumatic, offensive. No, nope, it's mental. Right side, memory field. Okay, so we had a sickness memory. Now this is a memory field. It could also be related to the C-section, but we'll see if we need to know anything. Something we need to know about, no. Um, we could just ask because the question's there. Does, is this sickness memory to do with the C-section? No. Uh, anything come to mind? I can always test it. If not, just we'll just move on. Um, yeah, I'll move on. Okay. Um, so anything we need to know is no. Uh, is there something associated to this memory field? No. All right. So let's, let's blow out the memory field. <laughs> okay, good. So you know what? I'm going to assume... That if I don't have to test and you're, you're okay with that, unless you tell me, no, wait, I want to test something. Okay. Make sure you do that. So okay. that's really Okay. Um, because I'm hoping that we can clear, get it all like in this, in this single session here. So that's why I want to keep moving. Um, but I'm, I, I love asking questions. So if there's anything we need to know. All right. Um, something more. Yes. So right, left, energy. On the right, allergy or intolerance. Okay, right side, idea allergy. All right, so some some idea that you just can't line up with, right? It's like, mm, can't just flow with it. None of these are good. Okay, so would it be in A? It's in B, okay, is it odd? No, it's even two, B2. Okay, is this allergy to your own thoughts? No, to your own behavior? to your personality, to yourself, to growing up, to life, to growing up. I love when that one comes. You ever feel like you haven't grown up yet? Yeah, all the time. I'm 63. I still feel like, when am I going to grow <laughs> up? Am I an adult yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so idea allergy, growing up. Is this something we need to know about? It? No, associations, no. All right, let's just, let's just correct the connection to growing up so that, you know, we can just allow it to. So that's another thing that... You know, I guess that we're not allowing ourselves to really just flow with who we are, right? With mm -hmm. our being, no matter what the age. It doesn't have to do with age. It's just feeling like whatever so-called grown-ups are supposed to feel like. I, got, I think I have my cat fuzz on my lip or something. <laughs> All right. Um, so, okay. So let's just, let's just make sure we got this grown-up thing gone. This little fuzz is getting in my way here. All right, so that's released. I got it. All right. So more. Right, left, energy. On the right, allergy, emotional. All right, get into some kind of trapped emotion or some compound old psychic trauma. So if you ever haven't had this come up before, um, this can be inherited. And it's like two or more trapped emotions stuck together, making like a bigger junk of en traps of energy, right? Two or three. It's like taking blue and yellow and making green. It's its own new frequency. Um, so what are we going to, what kind, first of all, do we have? Would it be something right? No, left, premium. Okay, this is inherited. That's fun. Now, before we find out, now let's find out the emotions first. Then we'll see what the lineage is. All right. It's funny because I feel like a little um, energy moving here, like a little light headed on it. We didn't even do it yet. Okay. Old psychic, inherited. All right. Where are we going? Um, A, B. It's odd. No, it's even. It's two. First one's in B2. Is it failure, helplessness, hopelessness? So lack of control. Okay. And uh, the second emotion will it be will we find it in a no it's in b and it's odd it's even two four six so b6 would it be pride shame shock unworthy okay let's see if there's a third is there a third emotion in this compound there is okay would it be an a it is and is it odd no it's even and it's two a2 is it anxiety despair, disgust, nervousness. Okay. okay. Is there another one? Is there another one? No, I've had some people with four. I had like a few of them with five. It's amazing. They say, you know, 
too rare to have three, but I'm, I've been seeing some of them quite built up. So we got lack of control, unworthy, nervousness. It's inherited. Did you inherit it on your mom's side? Yes, mom's side. Uh, did she inherit it? Yeah, from the mom, no, from the dad. Did the dad inherit it? Yes, from the mom, no, from the dad. Your dog just wants all your attention. Yeah. <laughs> so mom, dad, dad. Does it go back more than 10 generations? Yeah, more than 20? No, more than 15. So between 15 and 20, is it 15, 16, 17 generations? Wow. And they say generation is like 26 years. So times 17. All right. Now, um, you have kids, right? Yeah. So I think I had written down Atlas and Aspen when yeah. I worked with you. Okay. So um, did either of your kids inherit this? Yes. Okay. Did Atlas inherit? No. So Aspen. Aspen's got this one. So we clear for Aspen and anyone else that's connected to the 17 years worth, wherever they may be in spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and we're going to 10, for sure, 10 swipe it out or more. So let's just do it. Let's just release it. And if you wanted to swipe along, you can. Oh, yep. Get <laughs> it. Little shakes and chills on that one. Nice big breath. Good. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thanks for taking all this energy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a few more. Let's just do a few more. All right. Good. Woo. All right. That's released. Okay. You feel anything on that? I've got a little chills. Okay. Because I am totally like spinning on this one for some reason. The drinking ground. Because if I can't stay focused, I won't get good testing. <laughs> Let me just ground myself in. All right, good. I don't know if I told you this when I worked with you before, but a friend of mine told me about the hand mudra where you take your hands like this and put it under your rib cage and just intend to ground, you know, and, and it just brings you back in, <laughs> back into your body to focus. I like that. Yeah. And so because I would, I would get really spinny and she's someone I've worked with before with other modalities. And she's like, oh, I got this mudra for you. I'm like, Yeah. I tried it. It worked. I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hated that. All right. So let's find some more. Um, to the right. Nope. To the left. It's an energy. On the right. No, on the left. Uh, Post-traumatic. Okay. Let's see if we have any. Oh, I'm not going to write that. Let's see what kind we have. Uh, right. No, left. Another physical trauma. We may not need to know anything, but maybe we do. Let's see. Is there some details, some specifics we need to understand about this particular physical trauma? No. Okay. Is there something, though, that is associated to it? No. So we can just wipe this one out. Yeah. Let's just do it. I mean, I had one client who had a lot of back issues. And in one of the sessions, there were like 25 physical traumas. Because I keep being in pain like every night and sleeping, and then, no matter what. And so, you know, they, they were sticking with them. Okay. So did we... Uh, Sometimes I talk too much and I just want to. Okay, good. Yeah. But it's gone. Make sure. Yeah. So you, sometimes, I mean, these days when I work on myself, I hardly ever have to know anything once in a while. I'm like, oh, okay. Thanks for telling me that when I remember <laughs> now. Okay. Um, something more. Okay. Right. No left. Energy. Is it on the right? No, it's on the left. So is it post my Offensive? No. Mental. Okay. Right side memory. Oh, programming. Mm, what are we going to get into? An image? No. A oh, hold on. An image? No. No, it's a despair anger. Belief code. Despair anger. Belief code. Okay. Thought we might be going to belief code, but it's not despair anger. So it's a single belief. A, a statement that your system believes is true. I'm lucky my cat's not doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to be with the energy. He, she. Uh -huh. is a girl. It's a girl, yeah. So we have a despair anchor. She's just joining in. Okay, mm -hmm. is it in uh, A? It's in B. Is it odd? Yes. So is it one, three, B three? I'm a stupid person. No, I'm a terrible person. I'm all alone. I'm broken. Yeah, we can feel like that sometimes. I'm broken. All right. Um, any particulars we need to understand? No associations. No. Okay, good. Let's just wipe out. It. I'm broken belief thought message that is hovering around in your energy thank you god for lifting it releasing it sending it to the light thank you thank you 
All right, so that's good. That one's released. All right, that's good. Okay, what else? Right, left, energy again. Something right now, left, it's offensive. Nope, it's mental. Okay, it's right side. It's programming. An image, no, okay, so belief code. Here we go. Uh, I'd have to look at my notes, but did we? Yeah, yeah, we did belief code last time. We had we had one come in. All right. So let me get this little thing out of the way here and get the belief code up. Now, what kind of system? So is this a basic system? No. Is it split? Is it parallel? No. Tangle? No. Partial. So for the partial systems, because I don't. Without looking back, I don't remember what we had last time. Uh, it could just be either the usual format of how we pick out the beliefs, negative programs, limiting beliefs, faulty core belief, faulty core identity. Either it, it has that system, but there's just not much in it. They're just random, like just a little. Or it could be just a bunch of beliefs. If you've done a lot of different healing over the years, you may have gotten bits and pieces of stuff, but some of the stuff you just didn't uncover. That's usually what we find in a partial system. All right, so we have a partial system. Does it have a structure to it? No. So it's going to be a bunch of random beliefs. So let's find out what they are. Uh, I'm going to number them. All right, so where's the first one? Right, left, divine area. Uh, on the right, now on the left, faith, God, purpose. Divine purpose. Negatives. Two. So we're in section three. Okay, so don't read them. Uh, would it be an odd, no, an even one? So is it two, four, six, eight, ten? I'll never be. You have to fill in the blank. Uh, yeah. So what, it, what your ultimate goal is uh, to be at, I'll never be at peace. I'll never be. Um, right, I'll never. Go ahead. I'll never be happy. Okay. Let's go. Cool. Well, let's see. Is it I'll never be happy? Would that be what we should work on here? Yep. Here we go. I'll never be happy. Okay. Let's see what comes in next. Right, left, divine. Okay. On the right, forgiveness, higher success. Now we have divine success. Okay. Oh, hold on. It's right here. Negative statements, two, section two. Okay, 11 of those, so don't look at them. Is it odd? Odd, no, so it's even. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can't choose my own destiny. Can't choose my own destiny. That was section two. Just like to have it marked. Okay, another one, yep. Let's find another one. So I'll never be happy. I can't choose my own destiny. Right, left, divine, insight, commit, love. Now we're looking in the heart chakra area, right? Because he's connected to the chakras. We were at the crown. Uh, right, left, is it feelings, family, parents? Nope, it's self. Okay, negative. Um, one, two, three. So we're in section three. Okay, um, an odd one, an even one, two, four, six. This time we have six. I can't feel with my heart. All right. Okay. Next one. Do we have another one? Here we do. Right, left, divine insight. Okay, now we're looking at some third eye stuff. On the right side. So is it boundaries? Educate intuition. All right. Negatives. One, two, three. Nine of those. Odd one. One, three, five, seven. Nine, seven. Others will not value my intuitive insights. Do you feel connected to your intuition? No. Okay. 
So if you don't trust it yourself, others wouldn't, wouldn't trust it either, which might make you feel like you can't, you don't know that you can trust it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. yeah, we want to, we want to release that. All right. So um, something more. Yes. There's, there's another one of these beliefs in here, right? Yeah. Okay. So right, left, divine insight, communication. Okay. Right side, awareness, ego. It is uh, one, two, three, section three. Ten of them. An odd one. No, it's an even one. Number two. Okay. I, <laughs> I need to have more power than others. Yeah, that's a weird one when that one comes up. Does it does it resonate with you in any way? No. Yeah, uh, I I had a per I actually had a person yesterday that had that one too, and they're like, they had a reason for it for themselves. But anyway, okay, I need to have more power than others. So, and one way of looking at that is like, then then you might not ever allow something, some good idea or some other thing from outside to come in that would be beneficial because you know better kind of thing right or yeah. you have you know you, you're you don't know what you're talking about meanwhile you could be shutting down something really good so wherever that is there however that's playing we want to get rid of it so is there something more yeah there's another one let's find it um let's go this way all right on the right no it's on the left it's divine okay right side left side Faith, God, purpose, divine purpose. Okay. One, two, section two. Oh, there we go. Nine. Odd one, even one, odd one, even one. Two, number two. I'm unable to find a path to fulfill my purpose. So does that feel, um, does that resonate in any way? Yeah, yeah, that does. Okay, good. All right. So do we have another belief within this system? Yep, we do. Okay, let's find it. Uh, on the right, nothing on the right so far. Left, divine insight. Okay, another intuition thing. Right side, boundaries, educate. Oh, back to actual intuition. All right. Negatives, one, two, three. And here there's nine. So it's an odd one. It's even one, two, four, six. Number six, eight, six. My inner voice is not real. All right. So hopefully getting some of these things out will have you be able to like, it's okay. I can really trust myself and what I know and what I feel. That'd be great. Yeah. And that's that could be a whole session too, trusting in your own intuition, you know. Okay, so let's find another one. We have another one. Okay. Right side. Power. Here we go. Solar plexus. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Is it right? No, it's left. Ability. Okay. One, two, three, only seven, an odd, an even, two, four, six. This is too difficult for me. So that takes you out of your power. It's too difficult for me, limiting yourself there. All right. Now, is there something more? Yeah. Okay, right, Nola. Divine insight communication. Okay. On the right, awareness, ego. Okay, we we're in that category before. Negatives, one, two. So this time a section two, I don't know what we had before. Communication, oh, we had three. Now we're in section two. An odd one, an even one, two, four, six, eight, ten. I need to be right. <laughs> 
All right. I need to be right. Yeah, that can kind of maybe tie into that one where, um, what was it? Others will not, not that one. I don't know. Some, I seem, I'll never be happy. I can't choose my own destiny. I can't be with my heart. Um, others will not value my intuitive insights. I need to have more power than others. I need to be right. That's the one that it kind of feels yeah. like goes along with. All right. Is there another one, another belief within this partial system? There is. All right. Let's find it. Right side, power, passion. Okay. So that's uh, sacral chakra. On the right, no left, choices, financial, sexuality, trust, passion, trust, passion, trust. All right, what do we have in here? Negatives. One, two, three, section three, nine of those, um, odd, no, even, two, number two. I must do everything on my own. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's interesting, right? Because um, others do not value. I don't know. It feels like that one ties into one of the other ones anyway, at least energetically. Yeah. It feels like it fits. And um, yeah, no, okay. Because again, with this whole surrender thing, you need to allow that uh, that inspiration, that energy, those God, angels, guides, whatever, to be able to work with you. Okay, so we got that. All right, is there another belief within the partial system? No. That was it. But that's all of it. We got any any other beliefs within the system? No. Okay, so we're good on that. All right, let's see. We have associations. Yes. Okay, so now we just have to get all energies connected to it before we can pull these things out. And are there trapped emotions? There are. So we'll start. I like to call up all the trapped emotions first. If there are any, leave code. I mean, body code, energy, emotional. Trapped emotions. Okay. So where's this first trapped emotion? To the right, not to the left. Pre preconception, right? So you brought it here with you before you even took your body from some other timeline somewhere. Okay. Uh, A, B, it's in B. So it's odd. No, it's even. Two, four, six. B, six. Is it pride, shame, shock, unworthy? Worthless. Okay. So there's nothing we can decode about it. So we're just going to release it. We can release that. Let's just get rid of this worthless trapped energy that you brought with you. Yeah, that feels good. I just let that go. It's very like mild, goosebumpy feeling. And that's released. Okay. Is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. Okay, uh, is it right? No, left. Prenatal, another preconception. Okay, this time, A, B, on, B1, 3, 5, B5. Is it comp? Oh, creative insecurity. I love getting rid of that. We are creators after all. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to use that creativity. All right, do you have another trapped emotion? Yep. Right side, common, no, share, absorbed. All right, so you absorbed it. It wasn't yours to begin with. You just absorbed the energy. Somebody else is going through something. Somehow you absorb this energy. You just have to be at the right frequency to take it on yourself. Uh, is it A to B on one? Okay. Effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity, overjoy, no, vulnerability. Okay. Oh, I didn't release the creative insecurity. Oh my God. It's my favorite thing to release. <laughs> okay. Is there anything we need to know about this before we release the creative insecurity? Anything we need to know? No, because it's preconception. So, all right, let's do it. Let's just release it. Yeah. Take that away. That's your power. You're a creator. Okay. So that's released. Okay. Now for vulnerability. Um, anything we need to know about who or how this was absorbed? No, associations, no. Okay, so let's release this vulnerability. 
<sighs> oh yeah, Got the shakes on that. <laughs> okay, that's released. To hold that. Okay, is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. Uh, right, common. Okay, so this one is just your own thing. Some experience you had this this lifetime. Um, a on a evens a two a two anxiety despair disgust nervousness worry so there's some nervousness all right uh do we need to decode anything around it no so we can just release it then. yeah okay so let's get rid of nervousness and it go oh, yeah that feels nice <laughs> okay let's release Another trapped emotion? Yeah, it's another trapped emotion. And it's right, and it's common. Um, A, B, odd, one. Effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity. We didn't have that before. All right, so this insecurity do we need to know what brought this about? Anything we need to know about it? No. Okay. Let's release the insecurity. Letting it go. All right. Freeing you up to be able to release all these beliefs up there. Yep. That's released. Okay. Is there another trapped emotion? No. Are there any other trapped emotions connected to this belief system? No. Is there some other type of an association? There is. So we'll go to the body code. See what we pick up here. Right, left, energy again. Um, to the right, no. To the right, no. To the left, offensive, mental. Right, a memory field. Okay. Is there something we need to know and understand about this? No. Is there something that's connected, associated? No. All right, so let's just release whatever this memory field is. Right, let it go. <laughs> Delete it. Send it to the light. All this energy released i like to um i like to think we're just sending it into the light to just be transmuted back to pure love right that's what it's all yes. about so do we have another association yep all right on the left energy right no left mental right no left a will to all right what's the will to Um, A, B, on, even, even, two, four, six. So B6. Oh, we were here before. Is it the will to be sick? No. To seek love, recognition from outside or from others? Yes. Okay. Is it to, re to seek love and recognition from outside, from others? I guess it's both. Okay. Seek love, recognition. Side or from others so it's kind of like kind of like needing to be validated like you don't might not be able to just know it for yourself you have to get the validation somehow um does that does that kind of make sense yeah okay so is there another association there is okay whoops number eight body color uh right no left energy we could be anywhere, but this is where we're going. To the right now, to the left. Post-traumatic. Okay, let me make sure I did that right. I feel like I want to start again. Let me just drink. It probably is post-traumatic, but I want to make sure. All right. Do my little grounding thingy. Okay, so is there another association? Yeah. Okay. Is it to the right? No, it's to the left. It's energy. On the right, on the left, post-traumatic, offensive, mental. Uh, on the right, on the left, will to, okay, broadcast message, right? So I don't even remember where I was, but I don't think I was going here before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at a broadcast message, correct? Yes? Okay, good. Um, would it be A, B, C, on, even, two, C, two. 
Is it disregard me? Nope. Disrespect me. Don't look at me. Don't trust me. Fight me. Fight me energy. <laughs> yeah. So you might feel like everything's a fight every now and then. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's that kind of energy. Uh, is there something specific we need to know about how this came about? No, we don't have to know. Okay. Anything associated to it now. All right. Let's just release it. Yeah. Let's get rid of this fight. me. send that to the light. Throw that one away. No longer. <sighs> okay. Release. I find, I'll find that in me if I'm doing, especially if I'm doing something physical sometimes, like a pain in my body. I'm like, yeah, it's fighting me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there another association? No. Okay. We got it. These are all the associations. Okay. And they've all been released. Correct. Anything else that we need to pull before we can take these beliefs out? No. So we're good on that. All right. So I'm just going to go down the list and we're just going to pull them all out. You really only need the three swipes for each one, but uh, I'll just keep swiping the whole time. All right. So we're going to start with, I'll never be happy. Yes. Let's take it away. Send that to the light. Thank you. Thank you, God, for taking that one. Uh, I can't choose my own destiny. No, nope. sending that away. No longer want to hold on to that. Let it go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I can't feel with my heart. Okay. It's free you up to be able to really sense and know and feel and trust through your heart. Thank you. Others will not value my intuitive insights. Yeah. That's not true. Just get rid of it. Throw it away. Thank you. Um, I need to have more power than others. All right. Let's let it go. Okay. Uh, I'm unable to find a path to fulfill my purpose. All right. Let's let go of that. All right. So you can follow the inspiration when it comes in. Um, my inner voice is not real. Nope. Let go of that. I want to be able to really trust and know that voice. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is too difficult for me. Okay. No. Let's empower you to know you can, you can handle anything. Turn it into a positive in every way. Okay, I need to be right. Well, let's let that, let that go. This way you can, you know, find more information than you allow yourself. And now also, I must do everything on my own. Let's let that go. Allow for that help and that support to be there for you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for releasing all of those. Now, I just want to make sure that I actually did pull them all. So are any of these beliefs still running in your system um i'll never be happy no okay i can't choose my own destiny no how about i can't feel with my heart it's gone uh others will not value my intuitive insights no i need to have more power than others okay good uh i'm unable to find uh, find a path to fulfill my purpose okay that's gone um is it true your inner voice is not real nope is it too is this too difficult for you no Okay, uh, I need to be right. No, I must do everything right. Okay, good. So we got rid of all of those. Now, do any of these beliefs need to be replaced? Uh, yeah, okay. So do we need to replace I'll never be happy? Yeah, oh, good. I was, was kind of hoping they would replace that one. Okay, we'll find the replacements for however many we need to replace. And then I'll do them after we get them all, do them all together. So let's find a, a new belief here for this for this one. Never be happy. We're going to replace it with right, left, divine, right, left, divine. Okay. To the right note, left, faith, God. Okay. So we're going to replace with something within divine God category. Make sure I hit these positives. All right. Is it one, two, three, section three? Okay, good. Ten of them. An odd one. No, it's an even one. Is it two, four, six, eight? It's ten. Number ten. I am always connected to God. Okay. I kind of like that. I'm always connected to God. All right. So when you have that connection, however you think of that, I, mean, I, I meant for me, I couldn't even say the word God for like most of my life until I found my own way to know that energy instead mm -hmm. of what everybody tried to pile on me. 
Um, anyway, okay, so we got that. We're gonna we're gonna do that. But let's see. Do we also need to replace? I can't choose my own destiny. No. How about uh, I can't feel with my heart? No. How about others will not value my intuitive insights? No. Do we need to replace? I need to have more power than others. Uh uh. Um, unable to find a path to fulfill my purpose. No. My inner voice is not real. Oh, good. I'm going to replace that one. All right, so what are we replacing? My inner voice is not real. What is that one going to be? Right, left, divine. Oh, insight. Yeah. All right, insight. Something on the right here. On the right. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me make sure. We're at insight. Yes, okay. On the right, no, it's on the left. A body, defect, illness, pain. Insight, pain. Okay, we'll go to the positives. One, two, so we're at section two. And what's here? Six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. God heals me through my faith. Okay. All right, so, so far I'm always connected to God and God heals me through my faith. Now, do we also need to replace, this is too difficult for me, no. How about I need to be right, no. How about I must do everything on my own, no. All right, so we only have two to replace, right? I am always connected with God, and uh, God heals me through my faith. Okay, you ready? I'm going to download yeah. these. I'm so ready. Let's start with the first one. We're going to download, I am always connected to God. We're going to soak that into every single cell in your body. And the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all timelines, all dimensions, all planes of existence, everywhere, and in every aspect of you, mind, body, spirit, just really holding it, knowing it, moving through life, really, truly believing and knowing that you're always connected to God. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, good. And the other one is, uh, God heals me through my faith. Well, let's take this and pull it into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all dimensions, all timelines, all planes of existence, everywhere, every aspect of you, mind, body, spirit, really fully holding it, knowing it, owning it, walking through day to day in your life, being it, right? Uh, knowing and being healed through God. your faith to your faith in god to your faith in that energy and that beautiful energy that we truly are made of right but we kind of like pile all this crap on us and not really know it now let's just make sure so is this new belief even if it was an older belief that you kind of lost touch with like are you really holding this now i'm always connected to god yes and how about uh, God heals me through my faith? Is that running true for you? Yes. All right, good. So we've got those two. You can make some kind of mantra out of that if you wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I want to do, uh, there's a bookshelf thing. I like to do it. Don't always have to do it, but it's just kind of a nice visual to imagine this beautiful bookshelf, right? All these books on the shelves. And think of them all as beliefs, right? Many of them supporting you. But we just picked out a bunch that really were mucking up the works, right? So we deleted all of those. And we put these two new ones in. So we just want to tidy up the shelves, right? Push all the books together. Have these two new ones prominently in there. Shiny little spotlight on them, right? Dusting it off, polishing it off. And just making space for all the new experience, all the good things that are just waiting to come in to be able to have that open space for that to be received. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that feels good. I'm spinning now. All right. So um, I'll have to ask some questions about this. Let me just drink something first. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. Okay, good. All right. So do we get everything we need to get? to pull this whole entire, if we want to call it a tree, this whole system out of you. Did we get it all? Yeah. 
Is there anything that could undo what we just did here right now? Anything at all? No. Any uh, mistrapped emotions? Any misassociations? No. All right, so we're good on that. But is there something more to the whole focus of attention to do with um, surrender? Anything more? No. Let me ask that again. So we're working on surrender. All right. Anything getting in the way so you can be in surrender, return back to surrender, allow things to flow and unfold in your life with ease and peace and feeling happy and joyful and all that along the way. Did we get everything that was blocking that, at least for right here, right now? Yeah, we did. Okay, is there anything else we need to clear? Anything else? No. I, I usually expect to have a few more stragglers after we do that, but it seems like we got it all. So we're 100% complete. Yeah. Okay. Regarding the whole thing, not just the belief code, is there anything that could undo the work we did here today? No. Anything that was missed? No. All right. So we truly got it all. All right. I trust that. I I just like to ask from different, different, you know, any, anything else we could possibly bring up, right? But we got it all. Now, how many days to process this energy? Is it more than five? Okay. Is it more than 10? No. So five, six, seven. Eight days of processing. You, know, you might feel highs and lows, or you might feel nothing at all. Um, I hardly ever feel anything. Okay, so. All right. Well, let's see how that goes, right? See if you feel like you can like be in that space more or return to it more easily, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, keep me updated on that. I'll send you these notes. Um, and so anything you want to say about just the experience here today or with the things that came up? Um, I kind of feel a little lighter, which feels nice. Uh, yeah. Well, usually that's like, that's like the thing that most people can, um, feel is lighter. You know, you go like, I remember I went to some retreat thing for like two days. I felt like I lost 20 pounds. Like the scale didn't make a difference, but I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm 20 pounds less. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just, it's like before, you know, for some people who don't understand what you mean when you say, I feel lighter. Remember when you're like in, say, high school, right? And you've got exams or college or something. And it's like, um, it, it feels heavy. But you take that test, you turn it in, and you're like, ah. like the weight has just been lifted. And you can go out and celebrate. You can um, breathe. <laughs> you can breathe. Yeah. And that's even that too. Like sometimes when I'm doing it, and all of a sudden I get this big breath, like when the energy is gone, it's like, oh yeah. Okay. That's me. And the more you do that, like even just in your regular breathing, but you think about it, you're just expanding. You're just let, allowing yourself, your energy to be as big as it actually really is. Instead of when we feel trapped inside, inside the, the flesh suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One way to put it. But anyway, thank you for participating in doing this um, video with me. And I just want to say thank you to everybody watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, share. But I'd love to hear any comments you have, any questions you have about the work that we did here today or just surrender. I mean, you know, something I'm always working on. I'm better at it now. And this has helped me a lot to be able to hold that space and even recognize when I'm moving away from it sometimes you don't notice till it's like it's too late and then you're like sunken in like how did I get here right so when you can bring your awareness and bring your energy up it's easier to see that stuff when it comes along but anyway thank you very much thank you Linda mm -hmm.